everybody. This is Aqua Tammy, and we are back with the Sims 4 Mega Hood. We are in Hempford on Bagley, and we are visiting our final family, the Scott family. As the owners of the Gnome's Arm, Finchwick's, Finch, Finchwick's most beloved pub, the Scots are living the, the dream. Sarah's dream, at least. Simon, a city boy with no more city around, still feels a bit awkward every time he runs into a chicken. Still, he's here to support his wife's dream. Will their hopes of adding a new member to their tiny family change things up for the better or worse? Oh, they want a baby. They're both at the gnome's arm. All right. It's not where I want y'all to be. You're supposed to be at home. All right, I'm gonna send you both home. And we're gonna start this when you get home. Oh, there's somebody. Oh, there's a different pub owner when y'all get, and I'm playing y'all. That's weird. That's strange, but okay. All right. Come on, my dude. You're not running very fast. I want the free earbuds. Give me the free earbuds. Stupid vocal minority ruining things for the rest of us. All right, here we are with the Scott family. First, we have Simon. Simon. Now, he wants a big, happy family. So, he wants some kids. That's lovely. He does not have a career. He has level 3 mixology, level 2 comedy, level 6 charisma, level 5 cooking, level 4 dancing. <gasps> what happened to Zoe? Zoe died. Oh dear. He knows Ian. He knows Eva. And well, he knew a couple people who are dead now. And he knows Meredith. He doesn't really get along with Agnes. Crumple bottom. Hmm. All right. He is family oriented, a goofball, clumsy, and domestic. He likes the color purple. And he doesn't like mixology, even though he has mixology skill. All right. Sure thing. And I don't believe he's in a club. No, he's not in a club. And then we all know Sarah because she runs the pub. And she's cold right now. So, there's that. Oh, dear. Sarah is a party animal? A party animal? Ugh. All right. She doesn't have a career, per se, because she runs the pub. But what is that? How do they actually make money if they run the pub? And somebody else runs it while I'm playing them. How do they make money? Anyway, she has level 5 fitness, level 10 mixology, level 6 charisma, level 2 video games, and level 3 flower arranging. She gets along with Agnes. And Ursa, she does not like Opal. Maybe she doesn't agree with that situation. And she's friends with Ian. She got free earbuds. That's lovely. She's outgoing, self-assured, cheerful, and gregarious. 
and she is not in any clubs. Mm. Oh, okay, so this is their house. And they have an in-town house. Because the pub is right here and they live like right across the way. So they have an in-town house. Alright, so you walk in to the living area. There's a living area, there's a kitchen area, and then over here there's a dining area. In the back there is a little office area, I suppose, and then a bathroom. And if we go up the stairs, uh, there's a part that I can't see through, which makes me sad. If we go up the stairs, we have a bedroom and another bathroom and another bathroom and a teeny tiny room that apparently is meant to be the nursery. Although I would not have put the, this why is this turned that way? Why is it not turned that way? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. That's a tiny room. So there's not a lot of room for kids. But big happy family, don't you have to have three kids or four kids or... Um, be friends with three of your children. You have to have at least three children. And become good friends with four children or grandchildren. So if you don't, you have to have three or four children to complete this. But you have to have at least three children. So, let's get started as we always do in the middle of winter by finding a thermometer, a thermostat. Y'all know what I'm saying. Oh, come on. I can't put it here. I can put it here. But I can't put it beside the door. That's ridiculous. Alright, we'll put it somewhere else. We'll put it over here. How's that sound? Then you can come in and set it to warmer. And then you can come in and not be cold. Okay, so you want to introduce yourself to 10 Sims. We might need to go somewhere to do that. Because you've met a lot of the people local already. So you want to not stumble for four hours and listen to retro music. You want to chat with a non-household member and listen to jazz music. Is there a radio in this house? I don't think there is. But we could put one in here. Um, uh, this has become my favorite radio. Um, it just has. Because it goes so many places. Whereas some of the other radios, you can't set them on counters and things. So we'll have you a radio in case you want to listen. All right. Well, the bio suggests that you two want to start a family. So, Simon, let's um, sweet talk your wife. Um, found your undying love. Give her an embrace. Give her a kiss. And then try for baby. It may not happen, but you can try. Now let's look, while they do that, let's look at the rest of their lot. Well, their lot is sort of small, and the house takes up all of the space. So they've got a little grill out here. They have two plots of for growing. They have a chicken coop crammed in the side, 
and then they have a little bit of front yard which we could do some growing in we could do some more growing but now it is the end of winter so it's not really a great time to plant things unless we want to plant the large crops I'm not sure how they're gonna make money they're gonna need a hobby that makes money because it's like she's the pub owner but not when you play her when you play her she's not the pub owner so she doesn't have a job and he doesn't have a job and they're wanting to have a bunch of kids that won't fit in their house which means their house might need a bit of an upgrade um are y'all talking or y'all making a baby i thought y'all were gonna make a baby but now i'm doubtful Are you going to go for it? <laughs> okay, let's try this. Let's just try that and see if that gets us anywhere. This house is very beige. Do you know what I mean? Very beige. I mean, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. It's just a thing. Oh, we could turn this. Mm. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. They're they're tight. Space. We could always book this out, which would totally wreck the look of the house, but it would give us this much more space. And we could always go over and put a room, which again would ruin the look of the house. But, all right, Sarah, darling. See if you were successful. Oh, she wasn't pregnant. Oh, I'm sorry. Do y'all want to get some chickens or no? You have a chicken house and you have a couple little things. I don't usually use these that don't have a... Hmm. What would we make the most money off of? Hmm. Should we get big crops? Or just little crops? Hmm. You're going to microwave something? Oh. All right. I, not the route I would have taken. We could purchase some seeds. So you can make a lot of money growing some stuff. problem is it won't be in season so you know what well, let's get some big seeds could you get some garlic though let's get some oversized seeds we'll just get one of each Dude, you can't, you can't read and plant. <laughs> Thank you for that. I can't 
can't even water them? Well, they'll be planted. Oh. Will you want to talk to us? Ursa Cantrell won the lottery? Ursa Cantrell won the lottery. My goodness. Of course, I only had one Sam entered the lottery, but I can't believe Ursa Cantrell won the lottery. Is this my neighbors come to visit? Alright, let's invite the neighbors in. I'm not really dressed for entertaining, but sure. Come on in. Why is Katrina and Meredith here? It's like all the pregnant women are gathering together. Uh. Did you introduce yourself to these people? You need to introduce yourself to 10 people. Oh, you already know her. Introduce yourself to Stephanie. Uh, you are tired. And then you can introduce yourself. I need to fix her. I either make, need to make her not an elder or I need to make her have gray hair. Are these women still over here? Why are people gathering right here at my house? Oh, uh, uh, we do live near the little... Yeah, we do. <gasps> there she is, the woman who won all the money. Hey, Ursa. I know you dress a little funny, but, but I won't hold it against you. You're just eccentric now. Now that you're rich, you're eccentric. You're not towny crazy. Uh huh. I did not know she had. She had tattoos. Never noticed. Or if I did, I've forgotten. Would you not go read a book while people are here to be entertained? I mean, could you? I know you want to have a child. I got that. But you tried, and you did not succeed. She's a dog lover. How lovely. What are you doing? Dude, you've got to stop. Oh. They put that in there. Sarah, don't. Oh. Hope you like the fruitcake. It's a family heirloom. That would be a no on the fruitcake. That would be a no. You could have cooked something. <laughs> Clean that up. Where's the bathroom? <sighs> you need to read to a child for two hours, become a parent, and so I can't do anything with you until you get a child. 
except for listening to retro music. Um, retro music. You can listen to this. That's all I got for you. I can't do anything else. I can't do anything else with your with your aspiration until you get a, a child. We could have y'all adopt. You do have the money. Oh, we could have a science baby. Cold in the middle. She's introduced herself one time. We need to go somewhere. Where do we want to go today? It's Thursday. Is there anything going on today? Football crap. We don't care about that. There's nothing going on tomorrow except for the Festival of Lights. Which the Festival of Nights is not the most fun festival in the world. It's a little on the boring side. Um, on New Year's Eve, we won't be with you. So we really don't have any kind of big plans to go anywhere. But we could always go... We could visit the city for Simon's sake. We could go to a karaoke bar or something. She could introduce herself to a bunch of people. That's awkward. Just awkward. We'll throw it. You awake, Sarah? You feeling better? She's still tired. Help fix bad relationship. Oh, she didn't like Tomo? Oh, dear. Did you listen to the retro music? You did. Now you want to tell a joke. Uh, jokes. Tell a joke about Martians. Oh, she's tense. I wonder why she's tense. Now you want to listen to the blues. And make a friend. Oh, you want to make a friend. Um. Well... Let's let's brighten her day and um, ask about her career and then discuss your interest, get to know, um, Give her a gossip. Uh, tell her an inside joke. Oh, we didn't make a friend. Are y'all leaving? Of course they're leaving. Hey, Jeffrey Lynn grabs... It's really weird having a spot right next to your house. Hey, James Ward. Alright, I think we need to get out of here. You want to make a friend and listen to the blues. You want to level up handiness. Interesting. Um... What is your handiness skill? I don't see any handiness skill at all. Alright, well we could go to the art center to level up handiness. 
Y'all want to go to the art center? Let's go to the art center. We can't stay home all day. There's nothing to do here. It's your day off of the pub. Let's go into the city. And let's go to the art center with your wife. back in the snow all right you hey you can meet people you try to introduce yourself you I have not put computers here yet I wonder how many things we'd have to craft to get our handiness up I don't know. Go make some horse sculptures. Are you going to introduce yourself? Or, um... <laughs> Victor's coming back. Victor. Day. Friendly. Uh, get to know. Friendly. Interest. Discuss interest. Oh, they're both outgoing. Uh huh. Oh, and she just dipped completely out. She's still on our bar, though. Friendly interest, um, discuss interest, friendly, small talk, bright and day, friendly act, small talk. Get to know. Ask about career. Uh, um, oh, I've already done that one. He's a genius. Okay, she wants a friend. Yeah, you can like candidness. Oh, he's headed off. Everybody's heading off. You want to befriend Eleanor? Take a photo with Eleanor. Maybe if we're lucky. There you go. You made a friend. And now all you care about is music. Well, crud. Oh, you're selling the thingies. I love the thingies. But I don't know that this is the right couple for... Oh, I want to buy them, but this is not the right couple for Goth Boy and Violet. Oh, and you have Zombie Carl. Oh, man. You do have a toy, a child's toy. Yeah, I think we're going to have to pass on all that. Let's go see who we can meet. Uh, 
let's just start trying to introduce ourselves to people. wife has already died and left her all alone. Mm. Mm. We're not getting any luck with introducing ourselves to people. We've introduced ourselves to six people. Oh, Roy's coming down. Well, Roy was almost here. Don't, don't tap out now. Come introduce, just come. Come let me introduce myself to you. Uh, Kevin Monroe. Have you made Oh, he's up to level two Indian is alright. He wants to be mischievous. Okay, I'm a little confused. What is going on that you are just standing here not doing anything? When all I'm doing is telling you to greet people. Over here. Oh, you are going to meet this guy? No. Go over here. Greet him. Because he's just standing there. Okay, let's go to the bar. And let's greet everyone at the bar. That should get you to 10 people introduced to. Sweet, no, don't make them come to you. You go to the bar. Why do Sims do this? Why? Nancy walked halfway over here to talk to you. You shouldn't be drinking, Nancy, but whatever. Oh, you hurt yourself. Oh, you pinched your finger woodworking. But you did good. You got your woodworking skill up to a two and a half. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. You want to go downstairs and pick up, grab some food? Um, oh, or we're in the town. We're in the city. You could order food. Order food. Some pork adobo. Why don't you do that? Uh, is she greeted enough people yet? Uh, how did you... You're still at eight. How are you still at eight? Uh, Reading 10 people should be easy. Why are you making it so hard? Nancy, you're making Nancy walk all the way back and look at the state of the woman. She's pregnant and she needs to pee. Okay, that's nine. We need one more. Um, we need one more person. Um, I think you know her already. And you want to come over here and introduce yourself to her? 
She's paparazzi. No. I think you already know her. Yeah, you already know her. Introduce yourself to Alan. There you go. Throw three parties. Earn a civil silver on three social events. That just makes me want to cry. Um, you're eating chips? Well, we were going to go get something. All right, well, we'll go in a minute after your husband. Oh, you've already finished eating. All right. Well, then we'll go ahead and go home. I've so got to finish doing the updates because some people are looking crazy. should have got things while we were here. Are you in good shape? You come back. Before you leave, let's grab a couple of things. Because y'all have no income. I mean... We'll just send your wife home and we'll just pick up a couple of things and then we'll head home. Usually they give you snow globes, but sometimes they give you cool stuff. Um, we'll go ahead and sell these two. It's only 130, but that's all right. Oh, we got we got one that's the same. No, honey, go home. Go go home. Not chat. No, no, no. We're going home to our wife. <laughs> we can put snow globes on the mantle. Snow globes on the mantle. Alright, y'all both need to go to bed. Do y'all want to do try one more time while on your way to bed? Is Sarah got the energy for it? No, not really. And she needs to pee. Um, well. Y'all go to head towards bed. Sarah, you should have already been in bed. You got here first. You should have crawled into bed. Let's put our snow globe. And our snow globe. And we will sell that. Oh, they're cute. Look, y'all don't have to talk about it all day. It's a simple decision. It's a simple decision. We either go upstairs and try for a baby or we don't.
Okay, we'll give them a little bit of... She's very tired, but she does have to pee. So afterwards, we might have her check again. Okay, she went on to bed. She's really got to pee. Get up. I know, but you can take a pregnancy test and pee at the same time. You got it the second go. Yay. Now, everybody go back to sleep because it's two in the morning. I know you're happy. Now go to bed. Two in the morning. Go to bed. Uh oh, what happened to the fabulous? <gasps> What happened to Iggy Fabulous? He was one of our vampires. Um. No, that's not what I want. Oh, I don't care about that. Dustin broke. Is now in the musician career. Holly Alto is now a freelance programmer. Saul White started a job. Kira Wolf in the Wolf household has died. No cliffhanger here. Kira slipped when rock climbing. We lost a townie. Izzy Fabulous in the Fabulous household has died. Izzy was a victim of a vicious chicken attack. Oh, and what's her face was having his baby. And she he was one of her children. Uh, vampire uh, uh, Lilith. Oh, man. Anything else? Oh, no. Oh, no. Easy Fabulous died. I mean, it's not like Lilith was in love with him or anything, but he was one of her children. Like, her vampire children. And now she's going to have to have another child to replace him. Oh, dear. Dear, dear, dear. That's just tragic. Tragic. You want to come in here and take a shower? Do, are you the one who has cooking? Oh, you've got five cooking, so you could do some cooking. Let's make some breakfast. Let's make some eggs and toast. Let's throw that in the fridge fridge okay Sarah, Sarah no no you're not no Sarah come take care of yourself your husband's gonna fix you food it'll be fine you're not that hungry she really is she really is that hungry mm. I wonder if I should turn the neighborhood stories off, seeing how we we have aging off for the neighborhood. But then they would never have a chance to die, and I kind of like that there's a chance they'll die, but it seems like there's a lot of them dying. And then the game just makes more townies, and oh. Why did you come to this thing? Why? Why is the routing so crazy? Take you a bath. Simon is on breakfast detail. And we have to have a party. I guess we'll just have a house party today. 
What time? Well, we could have a lunch house party, I guess. Uh, I hate throwing parties. Hey, Victor. Do we have enough people to throw? Uh, I mean, we know enough people. We just aren't friends with a huge amount of people. But we know enough people... Then you can come and grab a serving of eggs and toast. I don't know what we're going to do while we wait to throw our party, though. All you want to do is not stumble and have a child. Well, we got to have a child underway, and I can't help you with the not stumbling. And I can't do anything on your big happy family. And then she wants to eat, which, yeah... Listen to jazz music. Cloud gave with, with Ursa. Mm, everybody wants to be Ursa's friend. You're just going to dance. All right. Is that a freaking box? Oh, I didn't think about lot traits. What lot traits do we have? Stinking fox. Why do we have stinking fox? <sighs> Alright, well, we need good schools because we're having a bunch of kids. And Dad may have to take on a job. He could be a freelancer, maybe. He doesn't have any programming. Hold on. Let me think. What skills do you have? You have mixology. That doesn't help me. Cooking. Handiness. Charisma. Comedy. None of that helps me. None of that is a freelance career. Maybe we do a career that's not a freelance career. Um... Should we roll the randomizer and see what it says we should be? Mixology, he could go into cook. He can go into cooking, and he does have cooking, so he could go into the cooking career, um, or the mixology career, either one. And then he has charisma. If we were to randomize, I don't have the thing up. Hold on. If we were to randomize, I wonder what it would say. Um, here we go. Oh. Sorry, I tabbed out. We're going to tab out again, so. Um, all right. Display capture. Let's go to the randomizer. Let's select all. Let's see what the randomizer says his career should be. A doctor? No. Uh-uh. No. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. The only way I would do doctor is if I could get a college degree and skip to level eight or whatever it is. And but no, no. Let's try again. A painter, but he doesn't have any. Mm, I don't think so. I think maybe culinary, but you don't make a whole lot of money in culinary. Is the problem? Uh, you do when you get further up, I guess. Uh, astronaut? No. No. I don't think I like any of those. Ah. 
I'd kind of like him to be a... I'd kind of like him to be... kind of like him to be a freelancer. Where are the freelancers at? But that would mean he would have to be either a crafter, a digital artist, a fashion photographer, paranormal investigator, a programmer, or a writer. He has none of those things. I think the only skill he has is culinary. So let's get him a job in culinary. Let's just get him a job in culinary. He'll start off at the bottom, but he's got the skills to work his way up pretty fast. I wish you could start off. It was like The Sims 2 where it would start you off higher if you had skills. But it doesn't do that in The Sims 4. Alright. Alright. So we want to go ahead and have a, a party. A house party. A lunchtime house party. Is that a fox coming in my house? We. Y'all. Yeah. I, I hope nobody hates me. But. Um. No foxes. Alright, let's be convivial because we're going to have a bunch of parties here at this house. So we'll do convivial. And we'll do... Should we do Chef's Kitchen? We'll enhance your Sims culinary skill. Look out for famous chefs. Sure, why not? I mean, we got to put something in there. Alright. And you're not going. Uh, don't go make a snow angel. Let's throw a party. Let's. Um. Oh yeah, we could do social bunny. Mm -mm. And it would help us make friends. Let me just add a bunch of people that I know that I'm not quite friends with. Okay, this is very repetitive. Do I want to add everybody I know? Well, we should do Rami. And Cecilia. Um... These people are not really, but she is a people person. She is a people person. She's outgoing. She wants to throw a bunch of parties. So we'll just throw everybody she knows into a thing because we're probably going to be inviting everybody she knows to parties. And then we'll do her husband, which will be a lot fewer social bunny people. Oh, hey. He knows Eva. He knows Meredith. He knows Ian. He knows Stephanie. Everybody needs to be friends with Ursa. And then she's a neighbor. He's the creep the keeper and sure. All right, now, where in the hell do I find this party thing? Um, and I don't want to adopt a baby right this second. I mean, I'm not opposed to adopting a baby. Um, I do start a party from the phone, yes. Why can't I find it? 
Plan a social event. Oh, heaven. Heaven help us. I finally found the right thing. Go away, Fox. You're not wanted here. Oh. All right. Oh, we could do a baby shower. I haven't done a baby shower yet. I don't know what you do in a baby shower. We could do a baby shower. Or we could just do a house party. Not a dinner party, a house party. For right now, let's just do a house party. And we can do the, ba the baby party in the next round, if I remember. Let's just do a house party. We're the host. And we're going to invite... Um, do we have more people we can invite? Uh, probably. Um, she's a neighbor. She's a neighbor, but you don't like her. I don't know if she'll come, but she's a neighbor. Um, how many of these people we just met? Let's stick to all the playables we know. Well, this isn't anybody he knows. I thought it was supposed to put people he knows too. But this isn't, he knows more playables. Does it do different if you do it on the, hold on. Does it do both people if you do it on the, oh, the Spice Festival is tonight? I did not know the Spice Festival was on. Plan an event. We're gonna plan a house party. Now, does it show his friends, too? No, it only shows her friends. Five, six, seven, um, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. That's a lot of people. And none of them are his friends. We're not going to do an entertainer. We don't have a bar, so we're not going to do a mixologist or a caterer. We don't need any of that. We're going to do it here, and we're going to do it at noon, which is in 12 minutes. We'll do it at noon. We'll just see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. We have nothing... We're just going to invite a bunch of people over to our house. Oh, do we need to water or anything our plants? No. Yep, let's get started. Socialize with the guests. Babe. Shoe the fox. Oh, we gotta eat food. All right, let's get you to cook some food. Serve lunch. We'll just do a garden salad. And then that won't be enough for everybody. So we'll serve lunch and do... We'll just do that. There you go. You get to cooking. You get to cooking. Is anybody going to come? Well, Victor Fang has come. Um, and we need to socialize with guests. Uh, 
Thanks for coming. <sighs> Thanks for coming. For frick fracking sake, I said thank for coming. What is your problem? Thank for coming. I did it three times. And then you can share your big news. Now, is anybody else coming? Okay. The world wolf is coming. <sighs> Hobbies, um, gossip. Let's share some gossip. Uh, our, the girl that we don't like did show up. Friendly, small talk, bright and day, friendly, small talk, get to know. Mm. Uh, oh, we need to tell jokes. Uh, funny jokes, tell a joke. Funny. Joke. Uh, tell another joke. Uh, okay. I take it not everybody came. Um, friendly. Interest. Um, discuss interest. Oh, we gotta do another joke. Funny jokes. A joke about vampires. I made food. And you stole my eggs. Okay. They always do that. Okay. Have Sims kiss three times. Um, friendly, more, share the big news. <sighs> we just need a silver. We don't need a gold. We need a silver. Nice. <sighs> no, don't serve mac and cheese. No, don't serve mac and cheese. Call a meal. comes the rich woman. God, I gotta give her a makeover. I really gotta give her a makeover. She's got a million dollars. A million simoleons now. How have we not had three people eat? Eat cake? Uh, I didn't make a cake. All right, Simon, I need you to cook a cake. Um, let's cook a honey cake. Sure. Uh, and then uh, you clean up the bowls so the guests can continue to to chit chat and do whatever. Uh, 
Oh, there comes Celia. She's late, but that's okay. Oh, Nancy. Uh, sure. We can be best friends. That's fine. Uh, don't put it in the fr- We've got to have people eat that cake. Uh, call to meal on the cake. And then you come over and kiss your wife. Sweetie. I need you to call people to eat the cake. Sweet. Yeah, call people to eat the cake. I didn't really want you to eat the cake. I wanted your guests to eat the cake. But, sure. I need you and your husband to kiss. Okay, we got a silver. That's all we needed. We're not doing three people play games at the same time. We'll do the three kisses. That's fine. No, don't cook anything else. I need you to kiss your wife. I need your wife to finish cleaning up. Y'all talk. Have some conversation. Where did she go with the dishes? Oh, she's still collecting. We have bathrooms, hon. We have bathrooms. Don't cook anything else, Simon. I... You know, I'm tired of not sitting around, Cecilia. I'd be awesome if you thought of a way to make a couch. Cecilia unlocked the fabricated couch recipe. All right. Cecilia has a fabricated couch recipe. Oh, that's because you're a maker. People can get the crafting recipes from you. Right. Where are you going to? Oh, she left a plate out here. Hey, Rami. What did you cook? Steak tartare. All right. Sure thing. Kiss. Will you go kiss your husband? Is that too much to ask? Uh. 
Kiss hands. That should count. And then kiss cheek. That should all count. Okay. Yeah, still not gonna get gold because we don't. We're not playing games at the same time. That's all right though. Y'all did good. You go. Yay! We got a silver house party. Let's get you to do some cleaning up. We'll put that in the fridge. We'll put that in the fridge. <sighs> well, honey, go to the bathroom. Go on to the bathroom. Did we get the pop-up about the... Yeah, the Spice Festival is on tonight. Do y'all want to go to the Spice Festival? Also the Festival of Light. Which we never go to because it's kind of boring. But we could go to. And get kimonos and all that sort of stuff. Which, what do you think? We always go to the Spice Festival. You want to go to the Festival of Lights? What time is it on? It's on from 6 to 1. Yeah. It'd be different. Sure. Let's go. Are these other these people still here? Well, it doesn't matter. Let's let's go. I forgot about the snow. Yay! Oh, you're not feeling good? Well, let's come over. Is this where we buy our things? Yeah. Purchase and wear festival kimono. It's a little pricey. But that's okay. Oh, well, you just come over here. Is that Nancy? Nancy's everywhere. you go now you purchase oh you just get to wear oh I didn't realize it got it for the whole family for 300 that's not a bad not a bad little deal oh do we want to um, we can go and what is it we go over here and we Make a wish. Yeah, y'all go make a wish. If nothing else, you can make a wish about your upcoming child. For a nice, healthy baby. <laughs> yeah. Ariel. Yeah. So we're basically, we're at the park. 
So we need to make sure the park has a woohoo spot. Just a little bush. Just a little bushy. So that. Yeah. Maybe two bushes. Just a case. Are you are you listening to Japanese folk music? Okay. I was gonna say if you're hungry we could get some of those um treats. Cheerful introduction. She's in two workout. Oh, she's in the workout club and the snow sports club. Yeah. Honey, what are you? You're moon bathing? Uh, uh, okay. If that's what you want to do, you can moon bathe. And you could hang around the fire. Uh. We're doing some fire dancing. Fire dancing. Um, you need to use the bathroom, so I would suggest a trip to the bathroom. He's got to go to the bathroom, hon. Order food. No, he doesn't have the little... Oh, it must be over here. Oh, yeah, they've got the... The things, whatever you call them. Matcha, tiaka, tiaki, vanilla, strawberry, or bean. That just sounds kind of gross. Bean. I can see the strawberry. I can, I can, I can see the strawberry, but the bean throws me for a loop. Why is this so low? You can't see their heads. The vendor's huh? head. Oh, he's still in the bathroom. Yamachan is here. We could get semi capsule if we wanted to, to commemorate our visit. You're gonna play chess. All right. Ooh, gross. Public restroom. Well, how are you doing? This is why I don't usually come to this one, because there's not a lot to do. You can purchase a semi capsule. Depend on the mantle. You're seriously going to just sit and play chess during the festival. Okay, you got a semi capsule. Let's open your semi capsule. Oh, you got a Princess Cordelia semi. Very nice. Very nice. You want to cloud go with Ursa, listen to jazz music, and play chess from being at the park. You want to level up your handiness skill. You want to play chess. 
Is he playing chess? No, not right now. He's just sitting. I guess he wanted to play chess, but now he's gotten over it. Oh, Sarah and Simon are jokesters. Okay. They can be jokesters. I'd rather they be close, but I'll settle for jokesters as long as they're not difficult. Difficult sucks so bad. I've been playing a family offline. And the oldest brother got the difficult relationship with every member of the family, including his wife. It was terrible. He became he became enemies with his father. They bickered and fussed so much that they they literally became enemies. It's terrible. Terrible. Because that is not what I wanted to happen. But if every time I left them alone, they immediately just fought, just, just bickered at each other and yelled at each other. And in that, when I'm playing offline, a lot of times I don't control them as much. Sometimes I don't. Well, I'm a bit of a controller. But there's, it's a large family. Shannon DeBose Rose and Jewel Dragon got married. But, um, yeah, it's a large family, so I'm not controlling everybody, and the people I wasn't controlling were just fighting. It was terrible. Go ahead and play chess while you're sitting here. They're having a nice conversation. They're very close. They're full bars. So they have a very close relationship. What are they talking about? Well, it's 1 a.m. The festival should be over. Y'all are out late. Y'all want to head home? The bonfire is out now. Alright, let's head home. You getting a little tired? It has been a full day. We had a house party. You did a bunch of cooking. You had to use the public restroom. I know, I know. How far are y'all gonna walk before you... <laughs> she keeps turning back to look. He's coming, right? Yeah, he's coming. <laughs> They're so funny. God. We have already played two days with them. 
It went by so fast. It went by so fast. All right, you need to get in bed because you're exhausted. And you are also exhausted, but you need to pee first. Sweetie, no more dancing. No more dancing. Is their last name is Scott, and isn't Travis a Scott? Travis Scott? So we have two Scott families? Hmm. Interesting. Well, he's not a Scott family per se, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah, so I guess we're going to leave this part right here. Oh, let's put your semi caps, your semi up. So I won't. Let's put your semi up to commemorate your trip. Okay. So thank you so very much for watching my video. Goodbye for now.